There's a new vending machine on the corner of Broadway and Decatur Avenue in Brooklyn. But instead of snacks and soda, it is stocked full of life saving, harm reduction tools at no charge. CBS 2's Christina Fan explains why. This isn't where you typically find a vending machine. And naloxone and fentanyl test strips are definitely not what's usually offered inside. But in Ocean Hill, Brooklyn, where drug overdoses continue to kill, health officials had to try something different. I think they'll be surprised to find that this is a public health vending machine. I think that's a great thing. It'll start conversations, hopefully get people talking. The machine at 1676 Broadway is the first of four the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene is installing citywide, targeting neighborhoods with the highest rate of overdoses. Everything is free. All people need to do is enter in their zip code. I think it's a good idea, yes. Why is that? Because this costs money, and people right now in this neighborhood cannot afford anything. In 2021, the city recorded a record high of 2,668 overdose deaths. 2022 statistics are expected to be even higher. This is a Narcan kit. It's why Elan Kwashi, with services for the underserved, says these products are crucial. His nonprofit is responsible for restocking supplies. It'll have safe smoking kits, safe sniffing kits, safe injection kits. It shouldn't be luck or privilege that gets you into services. It should be easily accessible to everyone we know and love. But not everyone is receptive to this new tool, worried it will attract more crime. Nobody on this block needs a machine. So you bring in people from outside the community to loiter over here for this machine. What about our children? Advocates say the hope is at some point those using the vending machine will reach out for long term care. At that time, they can scan this QR code to connect them with a provider. In Ocean Hill, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. The machine is part of the mayor's plan to reduce overdose deaths 15% by 2025. Similar ones are in use in other cities like Philadelphia and Cincinnati.